What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back to Fight Night Round 3 and today we are, as you can tell by the title, going to do Get In The Ring, which is boxing in first person. As someone that boxes in real life, I'm worried and a little excited to play this. Um, I can't imagine it's going to be fantastic, given, the, don't be wrong, the game is fantastic. Fight Night Round 3 and Fight Night Round 4 are amazing games. I love them both. I think they're fantastic. Um, but, obviously, we do have to worry about it being in first person i don't know how they would have pulled that off i i can't think um i might because of my boy boiler uh 569 i want to say his name is i think i butchered his, the numbers but boiler huge joe frazier fan so i'm gonna run with joe just for him uh, and then we're gonna go up against someone who's a little lower rated in the heavyweight division Maybe James, Calvin Brook, Floyd Patterson. How is Floyd Patterson lower rated? I thought Floyd Patterson was like one of the best, but but you know I'm not that I'm not. Oh yeah, I suppose so. Fucking hell, he's a big motherfucker though. All right, here we go. We go up against Calvin Brook. Uh, this is gonna be so strange to have it in a be first person boxing in a video game. Uh, I'm probably gonna suck to be honest, but. I'm playing a lot of Fight Night Round 4 as well. I'm playing them playing them both. Uh, I played it on my stream the other day or, or whenever it was. It was the, the 9th of March when I'd done the stream. And it was super good fun. Uh, gained like 11 followers or something crazy on Twitch. It was insane. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know what to expect. I, my basic idea before we jump into it is I'm going to be like this the whole time. I hope not. I hope that it's only when I block. I don't want to see. If you don't punch, you don't fight like this. You know, your hands are here, or your hands are up here, you know? Alright, let's get it. Joe Frazier. Okay, so... Vroom, into the... Oh, it's so weird! Gentlemen, we went through the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean butt. Now touch them up, and let's go to work. Oh, it's so spooky. It's so strange. That bell means it's time to start this okay. fight. Okay. He paused with a jab to the face. Joe's a Philadelphia trained fighter. He moved there and first worked in a slaughterhouse before cashing in in the ring. He's the kind of fighter that takes some to give some. And that toughness is obviously a great asset in boxing, but it can also turn into a long term weakness. Trying to use a bit of head movement in first person. Not very happy about being hit with that punch. Good counter hook. As he looks to dictate the pace of the combat. You don't really go like this in real life. Um, like when you get hit. Joe Frazier's been hit with an uppercut. Even when I've been hit hard and like my nose is busted wide open. You're not like, it's not like this. <sighs> Frazier won't last long if he continues to eat combos like that. Oh, this is so strange. Jabs up top, then follows it up with a This is so weird. It's, uh, it's nice very uncomfortable. By Calvin Brock. I got him with that one. A few jabs I've got to make sure I block. Okay. Okay. If you see your opponent's hands tight to the body and face like that, taking small steps forward, then he's probably looking to get way on the inside. That's bully fighting. Oh. Oh, what a fucking cracker that was. Hard uppercut right in front of a quick <laughs> left hook by Calvin Brock. He's just a well-rounded boxer. Good speed, power, great balance footwork. This is so strange. Jab combo there. Brock's nailed his opponent with a vicious counter hook. He winces after that one. <laughs> Calvin is one of the good heavyweights of the future out there. A nice guy outside the ring. He's proved already that in his young career he can take a big punch and still pull off the victory. Calvin Brock. Ah, he's fucking me up jabs. here. Frazier didn't see that one coming. And the ones you don't see always hurt the most. He can see his opponent's punches coming, and he counters with a wonderfully timed shot. Right uppercut jab combination. 
This is so weird. I, I generally am... Um, Okay, my stamina is kind of low. My health is kind of low. Seconds still remain. Without question, I'd say that was a better round for Bro. <sighs> Take another look at the round. Pretty obvious who oh, he was catching me with good body there. shots. Oh, I we caught him with that good one though. That cut ain't gonna take care of itself. Ah, uh, manual hill. Only before it opens anymore. Take a seat. Dug it off and let's get focused. This guy loves to pump out. Oh no, he's a strong as a bull. we need. I want you to be as skillful as a bullfighter. Make him miss. Bob and we, when he come in with his hard looping punches and look for quick counter combos. All right, there you go. That's got him down. That's got the swelling down nicely. All right, round number two. We're seeing a classic power fighter here, folks. Feet planted cool and set, that one. hands tight to the body and ready to explode. Frazier can't get careless. He has to stay focused or he's going to get countered all day. A blow right in the face. You know, although he may not have any one outstanding skill, he doesn't have any glaring weaknesses either. He's a well-rounded opponent. Jabs with accuracy and speed. He keeps coming and coming and coming. God damn, bro. The block thing on this game is nowhere as near as good as the block thing on... Nowhere as good as the block thing on... Uh, on you, uh, fight now round four for there sure. There seems to be a little swelling around the left eye. A few jabs land in rapid succession. See, it's so easy for the computer to do that, uh, the block counter thing. Believe it or not, Calvin Brock is actually a really good tap dancer. You may think that's strange for a fighter, but that's the kind of extracurricular activity that helps a boxer's footwork in the ring. That's it. That's it. I'm fucking him up the now. Banker with a nice clean jab combination. Two hard punches crash into their target. Joe Frazier's attack with a power punch. That's a two punch combination by Calvin Brock. Calvin Brock comes in with a hard shot of his own. Okay, okay. It looks like some swelling is starting to form around the left eye. Brock showing his ability for effective counter punching. He goes in with a hard hook of his Good own. fucking body shot there by me. You guys probably didn't see, might not have seen that there. I'm breathing heavy. He's really ready to go. He's taken a beating and you can see that his legs are going to give out on him. This is the time to put him away, and you can almost feel the fans waiting in anticipation of a big punch from Frazier. Oh, bro, I almost had him there. I was fucking him up Let's that round. Look at what was an easy round for Frazier. Yeah, I was fucking him up there, and he was landing some good shots on me Frazier's too. My legs were buckling. But I was fucking him up. Oh, I'm gonna auto heal that. Just, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. It's just fucking crazy. This is crazy. There's a first person mode. Like, what? Third round is Imagine this in UFC. Can't feel well after taking that punch. He can't seem to get out of the way of the jab. Rock displays his hand speed with a series of jabs. I don't know why he won't protect his face. Why would he let his mouth get hit to the point of swelling up that much? 
Oh, you see his knees off. buckle there. He's really been beaten up in the ring tonight. He's taken a great deal of punishment, and I think he's right at the threshold. One more big punch, and he's going to be on his back. Damn, bro, he's landing some good shots here. This power fighter may not move like Sugar Ray, but all they have to do is plant those feet, and you better not get in the way of the punches after that. He's just got to find a way to survive till the end of the round. He's looking like he could go... Okay. He goes down hard. He's just That's pretty nice actually. He was doing well blocking, but we came over the top with this one, went under with this one. Caught him good, caught him good. Bang. Over the top with that hook there as he tried to block that right side. And we came under the bottom with that right hook to the body. Oh, as he goes down, bro. So clean. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he's okay, is he? I'm going to rush he him. He collected himself, fought his way back to his feet, and is looking to try and survive the rest of the round. Rock's taking advantage of his opponent's eagerness and lands a thumping counterpunch. Frazier with a nice clean combination. Yeah, look, he's I'm landing these the good body shots here. Plan with effective countering. He's looking for his opponent to make mistakes and help him out. Good classic boxing style there. That's the kind of style you'll see in boxing textbooks. Nice jab lands. All right. Yeah, how about that? Fundamentals is what we're going with here. And we're down to the last 10 seconds. It's that block counter that they do all the time. It just doesn't work as well when you use it. Like, uh, honestly, oh, buckled it. He buckled me there. Boom. All right. Water hill. We're fine. We're fine. A few cuts. A few bruises. A few marks. No big deal. You no know, big deal. All right. Here we go with the fourth round. Joe Frazier's jab smacks his opponent in the head. It doesn't look like there was any progress made on that left eye in between rounds. If that eye gets worse, it could be all she wrote for Frazier. I kind of want to see what it looks like when I get really hurt, but obviously I don't want to get really hurt. I want to win. There's a huge left hand downstairs. Frazier's found an early opening and unleashed a big combo. Oh, Landers a good uppercut there. If he's not careful, he'll be eating counters all day. Oh, I caught him with that one. He's got a massive bat lip now. Smoking connects with a good jab. Oh. Oh, he's eating these shots here. Rocks I don't know how many more he can take. His opponent has to take this knockout. with tactical counter punching during that exchange. Brock yeah. with a well-timed clinch. Looks to me like he just stopped himself from ending up on the canvas. Nice counter. Oh, good shot. He's looking to take advantage of the other guy's mistake. 
Three punches land in rapid succession. Oh, yeah, got him with that one. I'm not sure, but he just may be out on his feet. He doesn't look like he knows where he is right now. I went now, under that shot there. A pure boxing instinct. Get I thought off. he was headed to the canvas, but he was able to catch a break. Flying punch to the body. This is intense, bro, in the first person. Oh, I caught him with that one. That was nice. I'm not surprised at all that he's warning of an oh, behave. tonight's fight. If you can't protect yourself, the referee has to do it for you. He makes him pay for going after him there. He's taking a beating here tonight, and he's looking pretty damaged now. His legs aren't steady anymore, and if he gets hit with one more big punch, he's going to go. Joe Frazier with a forceful two-punch combination. With that, we're at oh, you day. lucky well motherfucker again. We'll oh, he's so time. lucky Either that he was able to clinch down. twice. All right, let's, get the cut. let's just do auto heal, because, you yeah, know what, right. fuck it. I think like, if I actually heal, it's not my screen won't be as red and stuff, but... Let's get it. Let's see how the fighters do here in the fifth round. His corner team seems inexperienced by the way they patched him up. Excellent counter. That uppercut finds its mark. Brock's mouth looks hurt. He's looking like a strong wind may be able to tip him over right now. Oh. All right, let me get some space. There we go. Oh, oh. that was jab, strip. He was down from the body shot. That was fucking nice, though, bro. I'm back to my corner. Uh, straight to the body. Bing. Bing! Oh! What's my hair doing? It's over. He's not getting up from that. No, he's up. Okay. His body's weak. being tested here. Let's see if there's anything left in the tank for Brock. Brock's got to realize he's in real trouble now. The ref only threatens to stop the fight when he sees one fighter is in a severe amount of danger. Huh? There we go. One uh, jab straight to the body, again. rocked him, and then a big heavy, uh, big heavy right hook to the chin. That was nasty. That was a vicious, vicious, vicious right hook. Holy hell! And that was Brock. That's Brock dumb. He's dumb. We win. He's not getting up from that. Told ya. <laughs> Told ya. Joe Frazier comes out power. with the W. You can hear the crowd going crazy after that knockout. Wow, look at that, eh? Who was up? I was up, yeah. 48, 44, 49, 43, 49, 43. So Brock won the first round on all three judges scorecards, and judge number one gave him the fourth round. But all the others agreed that Frazier was dominant. From the second round outwards. That was really, really good fun. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so much fun, honestly. Um, you know, he counted the shit out of me. I did land a few counters, actually, by the looks of things here. I did land... Yeah, I landed 16 counters out of 29. He landed four, 54 out of 52. That was annoying, but... Uh, I tried to land two haymakers, but I couldn't land them. But that was... Uh, that was super fun. I really enjoyed that. Wow. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to expect, and I'm glad that I um, glad that I tried it because that was really enjoyable. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.